Welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. Are you struggling with significant figures? Are you glad I'm finally releasing a video called Significant Figures? Significant figures, a set of rules to round numbers to show accuracy of a measurement. Have you ever heard of that saying, a chain is only strong as its weakest link? I know, coaches love that saying and it drives us crazy. But unfortunately, that's also true in chemistry for measurements. When you're taking a set of measurements and then you're doing some math with them, the answer that you produce, it can only be as accurate as your original accurate measurements. You can't have an answer be more accurate than the numbers that you put into the math problem. Sig figs is what's gonna help you figure that out. Okay, let's look at the rules for significant figures. The first rule, all non-zero digits do count. 48, no zeros, two digits, two sig figs. 3.29, no zeros, one, two, three, three sig figs. The second rule, all digits in an actual measurement do count. That just means if you're in the lab and you measure whatever you're measuring and you write that number down, every single digit in that measurement is considered significant. Zeros. They're kind of a challenge. Do they count? Do they not count? These next three rules deal with nothing but zeros. The sandwiched zero does count. What's the sandwiched zero? It's a zero that's stuck between two non-zero numbers. So here, 1207, 1207, that zero does count because it's sandwiched, so that's one, two, three, four sig figs. Same thing with this. Two zeros together, but they are sandwiched between two digits that are not zeros. So one, two, three, four, four sig figs. Now these last two rules, these are probably the most important rules because they deal more specifically with the beginning zeros and the ending zeros, and that's where the confusion comes. So really focus here. The fourth rule, leading zeros never count. Now this rule really only pertains to decimal numbers because we never see, I mean, you wouldn't put a zero in front of this 48. Whole numbers normally don't have zeros in front of them. Decimal numbers do. These zeros are called placeholders. Without these zeros here, that eight and nine would not be in the, play, the, same, the right place value. So these, these zeros are important. And we see that there is only two non-zero numbers, two sig figs because leading zeros never count. Now, this last rule, if you were to say one rule is the most important, this is it. This is the rule that gets most people confused, so let's really focus. Trailing zeros, trailing, that means zeros that are at the end of a number. Trailing zeros do count only if the number has a decimal. If the number doesn't have a decimal, they don't count. I normally like to say no decimal, no counts. Decimal, count. 500, no decimal, trailing zeros don't count. 500, one sig fig, because the trailing zeros do not count because there's no decimal. 10.60, there is a decimal, so trailing zeros count. So that is one, two, three, four, four sig figs. Now you may notice that this last number I wrote, I put it in this, the form of scientific notation. That's to show you the number in front of the X for scientific notation, every digit is significant. And it's kind of in the design, because remember, one number and then a decimal is scientific notation? Well, if there's a decimal in the number, the trailing zeros count. There's always gonna be a decimal here, so they're always gonna count. Scientific notation, all the numbers in front of the X, always significant, three sig figs. So here's some numbers that you can try counting sig figs. Okay, push pause and see if you can count them. Okay, here are your answers. Now, most of the time your teacher is not gonna care if you can count sig figs. Your teacher wants you to round numbers to sig figs. So let's practice looking at numbers and seeing if we can round them to the correct number of sig figs. We have the number 52,106. We need to round that to three sig figs. Now, a lot of times you would just write the first three numbers, five, two, one. Well, that's 521. 
I'm talking about $52,000. If I owed you $52,106 and I tried to give you $521, you would be furious with me. But if I were to give you $52,100, I am shorting you $6, but I bet you'd be okay. Three sig figs. What we did was we changed that six to a zero because remember trailing zeros when there's no decimal, they're not significant. So this is three sig figs, but by adding that placeholder, we left our five in the same place value. Here it's in the 10,000s, here it's in the 10,000s. Same value. Let's practice a decimal number. We want to round this number to two sig figs. So I'm going to look down. Zero, 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 five. There's our first significant number. Two, there's our second significant number. We're gonna look one past, that's the seven, and that's gonna tell us what to do with the two. Do we round it up or do we leave it the same? Remember rounding rules. If the number is less than five, you leave it the same. If it's five and above, you round it up. Now there are some slightly more complicated rounding rules that your teacher might make you do. If so, make sure and do what they say. If we round that two up to a three because of that seven, we get this number here, 0 0.0053, two sig figs. Let's try another example. We've got this number here, 21,500,169. Four sig figs is what we're gonna try to round this number to. So let's count, one, two, three, four, right here. That zero right there should be our last number. We look ahead to that zero, oh, less than five, so we would keep it the same. So when I would, I would make all the rest of these digits zeros because they're gonna be placeholders. Wait a minute. We did all the rules exactly like we did before, but when we write our number, are you noticing what I'm noticing? One, two, three, sig figs. Because remember, these trailing zeros are not significant. Well, sometimes this happens, so I'm glad we're coming across this. We need one of these zeros to be significant. And to do that, we're just gonna put a hat on the, the zero that we want to include as significant. One, two, three, four. When we put that little line on top of the zero like that, that says, hey, we realize zeros are normally not significant, but this one is. Or if we don't like that method, we could always change our number to scientific notation. That's a tip. If you're having a hard time rounding, change your number to scientific notation. It makes it so much easier. I know, crazy, huh? Using scientific notation is going to make something easier? It does, though, I promise. Because remember, all the numbers in front of the X are significant. So if we want four sig figs, we put four numbers in front of the X, and then we get four sig figs. And then we moved our decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 2.150 times 10 to the seven. I hope this was helpful. If it was, press that like button. If you need for me to make a specific video just for you, leave the suggestion down in the comments. Make sure and subscribe. Bye y'all.